they went under on ball screens and uh, we told them they were going under on ball screens and we didn't make the necessary adjustments to make them pay. They played our defense against us better than we play our defense. Right. <clears throat> and um, Kylie was really close to a double-double tonight after struggling for the first time around against the Aces. What adjustments did you see her make that allowed her to finish with 12 and, and 9? I thought she, Kylie was really good um, in a lot of ways. She was aggressive finding her shot. I thought she lost her legs a little bit on a couple of those. She was tired, but uh, she was working her butt off. Did a really, really good job. Most defense. Um, being physical early, not allowing deep post catches too often. Um, they still got a few because they're who they are. Um, they're extremely good. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought Kyler was one of the right spots tonight. Thanks so much, Coach. Jeff Magliocchetti. Hey, Coach. Thank you for joining us. To bounce off Jackie's second question a little bit about Kylie Shook, this is the second game row where she sh she has shown little hesitancy to shoot, and she's starting to hit those open looks. What has been the turning point for her thus far, especially on this road trip where it feels like, if anything, you can take the expanded confidence of her with you back home? Uh, you know, everybody's just continuing to work on, on their, their own development, on, on team development, on getting better at the things they need to get better at to be successful. Um, Kylie's always going to work. She's always going to take uh, feedback from teammates, from coaches. And, um, you know, she, she continues to make strides where we need her to make strides. And when it came to the first half, you know, you guys came out pretty strong. It seems like a reverse of several other games we see this season. Came out pretty strong, and the rest of the game didn't exactly go your way. So what adjustments did Las Vegas make, and how can you better be better prepared for them come Thursday? They were tougher than us. It wasn't schematic. They, they played harder. They were tougher. They wanted it more. Um, you know, we came out and executed in the first quarter. We played to our identity in the first quarter, and then that was it. Um, we did not adjust to them at all. And I thought uh, we played much more to, to their identity than to ours in quarters two, three, and four. So, um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know where the, the toughness discrepancy came from, but uh, it was certainly there. They were, they were quicker to the ball. They were more aggressive, more confident um, after that first quarter, and, and we just never found it again. Appreciate your time and insight, Coach. Thank you. Miles Ehrlich. Hey, Coach. Uh, you talked before the game about the idea of energy versus will. Um, your game plan to make it difficult for the posts worked really well, and they and they didn't perform as well as they did the last time out. But their guards stepped up and made shots, especially in that second half. Was that more indicative of the attrition of playing such physical help defense early on? You know, I have to go back and watch it. Um, obviously, Plum destroyed us single-handedly just absolutely destroyed us. Um, and and Dierica was fantastic. Um, they were both big time red flagged on the scout. And we, we talked a lot about both of them and, and their energy and their ability to change a game, those two. Um, and unfortunately they proved us right. Um, but I think in all, you know, it, I, I have to look in terms of schematics um, to find out where things were going wrong. But uh, to me, it was a lack of execution on our part, really on both ends. I mean, we got really careless with the ball, just ridiculous turnovers that we don't normally have. I mean, I know we're a high turnover team, but the, the way we were turning the ball over was not like us. And that's the thing I told the team. I'm so frustrated because we're so much better than what we showed today. So, uh, you know, there, there are a few games where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel frustrated and disappointed. This is one of them. About those turnovers, there were 18 in the game and 11 of them in the second half. Benaja had eight, and you pulled her early in the third quarter. Did you feel like she was being sped up a bit and forcing the action at that point, or was that more of being the focal point of Vegas's defense? I don't, I don't know that Vegas did anything special to, to really bother her. I know they brought doubles in the post. Um, you know, we play through her so much. Her usage is so high. In the last game, she had 10 assists and one turnover, you know, and it's, uh, it's just kind of how it goes sometimes. I thought 
the whole team, our whole team had ups and downs really throughout the game. And, and B had a, a few little lulls there, but for the most part, she did a lot of good things. And, you know, I'm trying to be cognizant of the fact that we have another game against a really physical, really good team here in, in a couple of days. And so um, we've got to try to protect our legs a little bit. Thanks so much. Azar. Hey, coach. Um, I was wondering, um, I know you said in a second, it seemed like you were, um, you said you guys didn't, didn't respond well, but it seemed like in the third, you were right. You were, the game was at 55, 53, and it seemed like you were going to tie the game. And then there was a foul called, or there was a turnover. I, I, I don't recall, but right then and there, that's, it seemed like you guys never rebounded. It, it, it just, you couldn't, you couldn't keep up. Like something just changed right then and there. Was it, was it the physicality or was it just Kelsey was, was she just got hot or I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what did you see in the, in the third quarter? Yeah. I, I think what you're talking about, I think I can remember the time you're talking about. And I, I want to say it was Rashonda took a, this might've been later. So I, you know, if I'm, if I'm misquoting, forgive me, but there was one point where our offense really, we just got a, a lot of shots that we didn't want. It was kind of one after the other, after the other, and then they were scoring on the other end, one after the other, after the other. And it, it, it just kind of all rolled downhill after that. Um, I can't remember if that was the 55, 53. I do remember it being in a point in the game where we had gone on, a, you know, a, we had punched, essentially we had punched back and we were in it. Um, and then it, things just kind of fell apart really quickly there. And, we weren't able to weather the rest of it. And, you know, this, this team is too good. I mean, Vegas is too good for, for us to have, to be that careless with the ball, um, for us to give them layups, you know. And, and honestly, I thought, Kelsey, you know, to what you said, I don't even necessarily know that she got hot. I thought she just whooped us. I mean, she just was turning the corner and getting layups. And um, she, was, she was really good. I mean, I, I think she just beat our defense and, and – I was a little disappointed in our pride um, to stop her. So, uh, you know, hats off to Kelsey because she really, she, she gave us a good whooping tonight. Thanks, Coach. Next up, we have Benag Jelani. Have questions, please raise your hand. a little bit. I didn't hear the last part. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me repeat that. So there was some slippage when it came to the perimeter defense. How do you think mm -hmm. the, maybe the focus toward the front court defense maybe, you know, got you guys a bit tired? You are, you're asking me if I think that the focus got us tired? Uh, so the you guys are really focused on the, the front court defense. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, Kelsey Plum was making a lot of shots. There were a lot of shots going in from the perimeter. Where do you think the, the slippage on the perimeter was coming from? Um, you know, we, we did put a lot of focus on them. So uh, I think, you know, just going into this next game, we need to – to make sure that we're, you know, focused on, on everything, you know, KYP, just making sure we're knowing our, our personnel, knowing what everyone likes us to do, um, you know, and just being a little bit more aggressive on, on everybody that's out there. Thank you. And, and to follow up, what do you think the Vegas defense did that made it hard for you guys to execute in the second half? Um, I think they came out and they were just a little bit more aggressive than us. And, um, you know, they, they forced a lot of turnovers, and that's kind of where we, you know, fell short. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Jeff Magliocetti. Benaja, thank you for joining us. Sorry things didn't go your way. Uh, you know, a common theme between what you and Coach Hopkins have been saying has been the aggressiveness that Vegas showed tonight. What were some of the examples of how Vegas was being aggressive out there, and how can you counter them in time for Thursday? Um, you know, just uh, pressuring getting inside of us. Um, so next time we, we see them, you know, just making sure we're being strong with the ball, um, just, you know, being a little bit more aggressive so that way, you know, they're on their heels as opposed to us. 
And uh, a fellow starting five member in Kylie Shook has really, you know, come into her own over the last two games. So as someone who experienced a strong boost of her own last season, what is Kylie doing right out there? What sort of changes has she made to her game over the past two games that has allowed her to develop a sort of fearlessness from the field? Yeah, just being aggressive, you know, um, taking the shots when it's there, not hesitating, you know, um, so I think, you know, she's just been doing a really good job of, you know, finding her shots and, you know, taking them when they're there. Appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. Miles Ehrlich. Hi, Benaja. Thanks for talking with us. I wanted to follow up on Jeff's question um, on Kylie because she had a career high tonight with 12 points and nine rebounds and went on a nice run at the end of that first quarter into the second, where, like you said, she was being aggressive and she was, she was, hitting those shots and making plays. She put her on the floor a few times to attack. How much of was her performance a confidence booster as opposed to the first time you guys saw Vegas where she sat on the bench for a lot of the game going into Thursday's rematch, especially looking for positives from a night like tonight? Uh, you know, we just hope that she comes out the same way. You know, she's been working hard, you know, to, to hit those shots and, and working on different moves. So as long as, you know, she's feeling good, feeling confident, um, we hope to see that same energy from her on Thursday. Thanks so much. Last question, Azar. Um, all right. Um, hey, Miss Laney. I was um, basically, I had asked the coach, um, at one point in the third, it seemed like you guys were right about to tie that game. It was about to be 55-53. And then I think either a foul, I think I'm pretty sure a foul was called or a call, there was a call. And after that, it just seemed like you guys never could catch up. Like it, it just, it went south from there. And in your opinion, um, what do you think the reason was on, on why that, that happened? Um, you know, just the turnover, uh, they were executing really well and, you know, they punched us and we just, we didn't respond the way that we needed to. Thanks, B. Next up, we have Jazz Jones. Jackie Powell. Hey, Jazz. Uh, thanks for being here with us tonight. Um, with, without watching any film, what's something that immediately coming off of this game that you know that you all are going to have to work on to get ready for Thursday to make sure you come out really competitive? Turnovers. Right, right. Um, and I also wanted to ask a bit about um, Kylie. I mean, she had a a game high in points and, or a career high in points, 12 and the nine rebounds, you know, you've played with her for years. How do you, what do you make of, you know, the growth she's been able to achieve, especially against an Aces team that sort of bullied her in the first game? And Kylie's been playing great for us all year. Uh, and then in this game, we wanted her to shoot the ball more. Some of them just didn't fall. Um, but she was being aggressive. She took eight threes tonight, and we, we wanted her to do that because of their defensive coverage. So she was just being aggressive, and she, she played a decent game tonight. Um, but we just got to be better all around uh, as a team defensively. So, yeah. Thanks so much, Jazz. I appreciate it. Danny Barlavi. Jazz, I was wondering if I could follow up to your first answer uh, to Jackie just now. And uh, yeah, I was just wondering what adjustments do you think the team needs to make uh, to prevent turnovers and to uh, shore up the transition defense in the event of them? Uh, we just got to be we just got to be more cautious with the ball and take care of it. Um, yeah, we were just loose with the ball. I mean, we just, yeah, we just got we just. It just comes down. We got just got to take better care of the ball. We got to be better defensively. Uh, in the first quarter, we were great, um, and then that second, third, and fourth quarter, we just didn't come out with the same defensive energy and effort as we did the first quarter. So we just got to withstand that throughout the whole game. 
Um, knowing it's not going to be easy. Everybody's going to go on a go on a run, um, but it's just a matter of what you do within that run or whatever. And so we'll we'll come out better on Thursday. Danny Bar Lobby. Oh, I'm sorry, Miles. Hey, Jazz. Um, in the in this matchup, compared to the last time you guys faced off against Vegas. Uh, you really did slow down that front court, and we saw a lot of similar double teams to what we saw the other night against Brittany Griner in Phoenix. There were also some some backdoor cuts that are that we're not used to seeing made against this defense that's always just so quick to recover. Was that because of the extra effort down low, or was it or was it something else? Did they come out in the second half and start moving the ball a lot quicker? No, I just, I just think def defensively in the second, third, and fourth quarter, we just we we weren't there as a team. Um, we weren't as locked in as we were in the first in the first quarter, um, and we just have to ha pay more attention to detail because they kept running some of the same plays over and over again that led to the backdoor cuts and things like that. So we just got to be locked in defensively uh, next game. Thank you. And uh, there's been talk from Coach Hopkins a lot recently about having that same energy coming out of the third quarter as you've been bringing. And there's been so much focus of having that energy in the first quarter. And the last couple of nights, you guys have really brought it the last couple of games. Is is there any way that you think that um, that could be replicated or or is that just a matter of just keeping that intensity and and amping yourselves up as you do before the game? Yeah, we just got to be on our toes throughout the whole game. Um, like a couple games ago, we didn't start we didn't start games off well, but now we picked that back up and starting games off well. Now we just have to figure out how to uh, come back out in the second starting game, starting the second half, and then knowing like we threw the first punch tonight, and we know we got to know like this is a this is a great team, and they're gonna they're gonna withstand that, and they're gonna keep making runs. So we just we just know know. That they're going to make runs and not hang our head um, and just continue to stay with our defensive principles. I think we got away from that tonight. Um, our defensive principles that we've been honing in all training camp to in the beginning of the season, and we just got away from that. Thanks so much, Jess. Jeff Maglio Chetty. Jess, thank you for joining us. One common theme that Coach Hopkins and Benajelani had mentioned before was that Vegas really upped the aggressiveness tonight. What sort of specific examples did you see of Vegas aggressiveness out there and how can you guys counter them in time for Thursday's rematch? Um, yeah, like they're a really aggressive team. So we have to make them pay for their aggress aggressiveness, like using ball fakes, pass fakes, every, like shot fakes, everything like that, jab and stuff like that just to throw them off their game a little bit. They got their hands on a lot of loose balls, a lot of 50-50 balls and things like that. And um, I'm pretty sure they, like, I'm pretty sure they got a lot of deflections tonight. So they just got their hands on a lot of, a lot of balls. <clears throat> and over the past five quarters, you are shooting five, uh, 10 of 13 from the field out there, including Sunday's fourth quarter out there. So what's been working for you in terms of your shot and what's been helping you build up your confidence back as you've, partaken in an extended opportunity over the past few games? I'm um, just uh, being aggressive, um, playing like I know how to, and Coach Jackie's doing a great job of just giving me confidence and staying in my ear and telling me to be aggressive throughout the whole game. And I know tonight I passed up, I passed up some open shots. Uh, I think a lot of us tonight, we passed up a lot of open shots that we, sh that we normally would take. And I just think, uh, including myself, like I was very hesitant on some shots that um, I should have took. And yeah, 